Welcome back guys, uh, today we're going to be revisiting the infinite armor lock glitch from Halo Reach. Uh, actually before this I never really did this much. It was actually one of those glitches that I knew about but I don't know, I just never got around to trying it. But anyways, so what you want to do is spawn an inf uh, just a regular armor lock, have someone else pick it up, and then spawn another one. Now what you need to do is have the other player activate armor lock and keep holding it and while they are doing that all you gotta do is just delete the other armor lock that you have now if they let go too soon then it won't work like we just messed up here so we're gonna try that again so once again have the person go to armor lock and then you just need to delete all of them so press X and then delete all armor locks and once that's done the other player does activating it will be completely well almost completely invincible they'll be stuck in a state of armor lock They're, they are free to walk around and they actually retain a lot of the effects of armor lock so for example I'm gonna get a ghost here and as you can see they are pretty much uh, like a total, total tower, <laughs> like you can't like push them. In fact, they can actually push you with your ghost. See, I'm, I'm boosting fully into him, but his armor lock is actually uh, repelling me. So basically, the other player is not just invincible, but they're literally a walking armor lock. Because when people usually uh, have armor lock, they they can't be moved at all by vehicles or anything else. Now let me try it to myself here. So same thing. Uh, I'm going to use an armor lock once he's ready. There we go. And he's complete all of them. Now from your perspective, it doesn't look like you're using armor lock or anything. In fact, everything looks pretty much A-OK -okay for you. But as you can see... I am totally invincible. And if both people. Oh, if I forgot to mention, if you do switch to Forge and switch back, you don't lose armor lock either. As you can see from my perspective, pushing a ghost is pretty. just like nothing to it. You can even drive the ghost while in armor lock. However, you be careful because once you do this, uh, once you're in a vehicle, you uh, actually do gain the vehicle's vulnerabilities. So as you can see here, the laser still kills them. So the reason is, uh, in Halo Reach, vehicles have uh, vehicle health. Actually all Halo games have, most Halo games have vehicle health. But the problem with this is, um, in Halo 3, Vehicles were basically indestructible as long as the player is still alive. But in Halo Reach, um, vehicles when vehicles blow up, you die no matter what. So that's one thing Armor Lock can't protect you from. Now, as you just saw, um, you can still get assassinated while in the Infinite Armor Lock glitch. So we're gonna try out uh, this glitch with a few other things right now. See the effects against other vehicles. You know, make this pretty thorough so while we test this out I do want to uh, ask you guys if anybody knows how to do this in custom games uh, do let me know because there's one uh, special video that I'm thinking about working on but it would really help if we could use the infinite armor lock glitch in custom games but as far as I know right now we can only use it in forge so if there's another way to delete objects in custom games or even play no it has to be pure custom games so if we can uh, if you guys know a way to delete objects in custom games do uh, let me know in the comments anyways um, back to this as you can see the wraith is actually one of the few vehicles that's strong enough to push armor lock but you need to use the full boost to be able to push them otherwise uh, it's like it almost evens out of the forces But once you use boost, it does give them a 
could nudge, but it still doesn't hurt them no matter what. Now, the scorpion is actually uh, pretty interesting. It, it still can't move them, but instead of getting pushed back, they actually just walk right into the scorpion. Which is actually kind of funny, but... Yeah, it, it's no, there's no way to push them with the scorpion or get pushed. So you... So it's almost like you're running them over, but you're literally going over them in this case. And of course, no weapon can kill someone in the infinite armor lock. So they are still... It's almost like the um, the effects of this is pretty similar to the uh, invincibility from Halo 3's campaign. Only it's a little better. Well, in some ways. Actually, no. My bad. The, um, the Halo 3 invincibility is much better. The only downside is the invincibility doesn't last very long in Halo 3. But other than that, it's like it's much better than the infinite armor lock because you can't get assassinated as far as I know now one more interesting uh, effect of the armor lock infinite armor lock glitch is with the falcon so normally when you jump on the propellers of the falcon you will instantly die but if you do with the infinite armor lock glitch this is where it gets interesting well first of all when you stand on the wing it actually does weigh you down so the infinite armor lock is kind of pushing the falcon and you can't take off either so you're like a rock almost <coughs> and um yeah there's literally no way to move at all see it looks like I'm standing still but I was trying to like move the falcon around but the uh infinite armor lock glitch was pretty much keeping me pinned down Now, you couldn't see it from my perspective while I was fighting the Falcon, but there's one interesting thing with the uh, infinite armor lock glitch and the Falcon. So let me show you what happens from my perspective when you jump on a propeller. As you saw, he, he didn't die, but it's more, more than that. So once I stand on the propeller, as you can see, you are constantly taking damage from the propeller, like a lot of damage. It's because it's supposed to be instant kill. But instead, you do survive, but it is still trying to deal massive amounts of damage to you. And the faster they uh, they spin their propellers, the uh, more rapid the flashing is. So that's kind of one interesting thing. Um, that's the only way you can take damage in uh, infinite armor lock mode, basically. Otherwise, every other way, uh, you don't even notice the damage. You don't even feel it. But in this case, you do feel it, it just doesn't kill you. So yeah, I hope you guys uh, found this interesting, and uh, I hope you guys do have fun trying this out. And we will have a lot more uh, revisits coming up soon, as always, as well as other videos planned. So it's going to be a big next couple weeks. So do stay tuned, and we will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.